go, friends. Beth with Thimble Hooks. Thanks for stopping by today. Yesterday we made Mega Worry Worm with his big head that I had forgotten about. Whoopsie. And I had a request from Naughty But Crafty last week that asked me to make a tiny hat. Make a beanie for her worry worms. When I started looking, I went, well, okay, I have my EOS hat that covers up my lip balm. I have that, so I'm going to do a little bit of a, a rework on that particular pattern just to make it fit his head. And that's when I actually found this big guy that Derek and Evie had told me that I made, and I said, I don't have it. I'm sure I already taped it if I have it. I already recorded that, and it's already been out for months. Now well, they were right. I was wrong. So I made him yesterday, and now we're going to make him a hat. This is my Mega Worry Worm, and this is just a normal Worry Worm. And the really easy thing about this is that it's the same pattern, really simple pattern. Just change your hook size to fit the head of the Worry Worm that you want. So this is my original one with the squishy head. And this was my big one with the squishy head. I'm going to show you how to make this little hat. And for extra fun, I threw in a scarf. And I'm going to use, this works perfectly with this yarn, but it only has a little bit of this color in it. But this is a Karen Simply Soft Chartreuse. Really obnoxious green, sounded like fun. So I'm going to show you that now. Let's get started. I hope you're enjoying my video and my channel. If so, please click that button to subscribe. Thanks. Basically what you want to do is make yourself a really tiny hat. If you've ever made a hat before, you're just doing it all in smaller quantities. It's really, really easy. So for this hat, for the tiny worry worm, regular original worry worm with a 3D head, the round head, not the flat one. This is a three and a half millimeter hook with Karen Simply Soft. And for my big guy, I used a the same pattern, the same stitches, the same yarn. This is still Karen Simply Soft. This is red and a little bit of white, but it's still Karen Simply Soft with a five hook. So we're going to use a five millimeter hook. And then at this, remember, this was a three and a half to make it smaller. And this is a five, but same hat. Just smaller. We're going to make one for this guy. So we are going to do a slip knot on my five millimeter trim and chain five. One, two, three, four, five. And now in our tiny little chain, I want to single crochet back down four of them. One, two, three, and four. I'm going to get out my clicker. Might help if you have a clicker or something to keep track of your rows. So for the next 19 rows, that was number one, we want to chain one and turn our work and single crochet back loop only. So here's the back loop right here. Not the whole stitch, but just the back loop only. One, two, three, and four. Do that for a total of 19 times. That was number one. And I'll meet you back here when we have all of it done. And here is my last row of tiny ribbing. This is row 19 of the back loop only single crochets that I have been doing. Please remember that it really helps my channel when you watch the video all the way to the end. So now we have tiny ribbing. Just ripsy. Just make sure it'll fit the head. Generally it will because ribbing is nice and stretchy. So we'll be all good. So what we did was we chained 
and then we've worked our single crochet down one, so that was row one, and then 19 rows of the back loop only, so we're at row 20, technically. And now we want to get chain one. Now we want to make this into a loop. So just bring the other side up. I'm going to go through our first one back loop only, and then on the other side, catch your chain. And pull them through and slip stitch. And do that for all four of these stitches. Take you only just seconds to get this part done. Last one. Just catching that little back loop. Back loop only. And my last stitch right here uh, through both sides and slip stitch. And now we have a ring. And at this point, our ribbing is done for our brim. So just chain one so we can start with our next round. So now we're going to work tail. We're going to work around the top. Around the top. So we're going to start going up. Instead of around this way, we're going to go around this way. So we did our chain one. We want to evenly space out 21 single crochets around this top here. Should be one for every stitch that you already made, one for every row that you already made in your ribbing. But just make sure you get 21. Just like this. Oh, and I forgot to mark my first stitch, which is right here. Whoopsie. So then I know I can get to 21. So I'm 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So get to 21 and I'll meet you at my stitch marker. 20. And 21. And there's 21 all the way around. Now this is the point where you would change colors if you wanted to brim to be a different color than the hat. So that's what I did here. All of this that I did here was in white with this one, and then I changed to red. So if you want to do that, go for it. If not, make your hat all one color like this, and it's still adorable. Still super cute. I won't need my clicker anymore, I don't think. So now we have 21 stitches. We're going to do a tiny increase, just a teeny one, up to 24. So our first six stitches will be single crochets. There's my first one. One, two, three, four, five, and six, and then an increase. So there'll be two single crochets into that stitch number seven. And that's your sequence all the way around. We're going to increase from 21 to 24. six and my last stitch gets two single crochets so we increased from 21 just a tiny bit up to 24 and we want to do a tiny increase one more time this time we're going to do the first seven will be single crochets so there's number one one two three four, five, six, and seven, and then our increase, which is two single crochets in the same. And do that all the way around. We're increasing our cells from 24 to 27. Six, and 
seven and my last stitch gets two. So we've got a little bit of a hat going on. It's starting to look kind of like a hat. We've got the nice ridges down here for our brim. It's nice and stretchy. And then we're working on the top. Now the next four rounds are just single crochets. I have 27 single crochets around each round times four. So I will meet you when you get four rounds of 27 done. It'll just take a couple minutes. And my last couple stitches of round four of single crochets. There's my last stitch. Yay! Moving on the bottom and now we're working up the hat. All right, we did our four rounds of 27 single crochets. Now we're going to decrease a little bit. We're going to take it down from 27 to 18. So the first stitch is a single crochet. I'm going to move my marker. There's one and two. And then we're going to skip this next stitch and jump over and do two single crochets in the next two stitches. Skip a stitch, single crochet, single crochet, skip a stitch, and that's all the way around. I'm doing my decrease this way so I don't have very noticeable decreases on such a tiny piece. Skip. All right, there's all my decreases. Now we do four more rounds of just single crochet. Single crochet all the way around times four rounds and I will meet you back here when all four of them are done. And my last couple stitches. No, my very last stitch. Yay! My very last stitch just done on the fourth round of 18. So there we go. Now we get to fasten this off. You want a needle again? Grab a needle and a nice long tail so that you can work with your needle. Snip. Now I like to just pull this through, boom, like that. I can take out my stitch marker now and we'll thread our needle. And we're just going to work in and out of all 18 of our stitches so we can cinch this closed and have it all gathered at the top, almost back. And now we have our just a little whip stitch through everything and just cinch it shut. And now your hat's closed. Just finish this off to keep it that way. A couple of little stitches to keep it closed. And then just go through the top into the inside with your needle and pull it through. Really all you need to do is snip these guys off. I'm going to show you how cute his hat is. It right, doesn't look like this hat though, does it? That's crazy. Fold up the brim. And now it looks like the other hats. And it'll go on his head. There, now it's on his head. So he's got like an elf look going on with the green hat. And there's my Santa hat on this side. And an extra bonus. I'll tell you exactly how to make this tiny little scarf. It is probably the easiest project you would ever do in your life. But if you have little puff balls, or tiny little, tiny little puff ball, put it right there. It would be super cute. Alright, here's a magic scarf. We are going to put a slip knot on 
our hook, chain 40 and 40. Now we have a nice long chain, single crochet all the way back down. And our last couple stitches to the end. And last stitch, chain one. Turn your work. Do that all the way down again. Single crochet all the way down to the other end. And there's my last stitch. And finish off. Snip. They told you that was the easiest project you probably have ever made. All it is is two rows of single crochet all the way down. Now you just weave in your ends however you want to do that. Like these, I gathered them with just a tiny bit. So it's a little bit of a point. Or you can just weave those straight in and have a nice flat edge like this. Like this is. And 40 was plenty to do a one over. <laughs> How cute is that? Isn't he adorable? Just have to weave in my ends and he's perfect. I love him. This one was made with um, Karen Simply Soft Super Duper Yellow and it looks like kind of like an emoji I think after I got done with it but he was cute. I thought the color contrast between the yellow and the red was going to be good but now he looks like an emoji so I think it's funny. And I embroidered a little mouth. You can do a little mouth on it, a little smiley face if you want otherwise you can leave them plain. This is the way I use most of mine. I think they're awesome. And remember this was the little guy. This I used a three and a half millimeter hook. This one I used a five millimeter hook. Same pattern. So thanks to Naughty But Crafty for asking me to get into this little hat because not only was it fun to make, I made this little scarf and I found my Mega Worry Worm that I didn't even realize I had not shown everyone yet. So it's been a good week. Thanks for stopping by. Thank you for supporting my small business. Please subscribe to Thimblehooks and stop back soon. Thanks. Bye.